Good afternoon, business owners. Today we're going to talk about the grit to train your weaknesses. Oh my God, Mike, you told me to delegate my weaknesses and, and to focus on my strengths. Yes, I did. And yes, you still need to delegate all your weaknesses, but let's just be honest. There is a weak link in your, in your armor. What is holding you back? Like I was talking to a business owner today and I was like, hey, he was like, I think I'm the bottleneck. I was like, I know you're the bottleneck because business owners are always the bottleneck to grow in their business. But um, there is one thing mentally, physically, emotional. What do you think if you ask your spouse, your key customers, what would they say? What is the weakest link in your armor? Hey, today I'm just going to be completely transparent with you. I'm going to discuss my weaknesses in all four areas of, of my life, right? As a business owner, you know, but my body. My biggest weakness in body is flexibility and balance. In my family or balance, right, is my temper or state. I don't come in with a great state sometimes because I tend to be a little too much of a worker or workaholic. Being... My schedule is too packed to focus. I'm too goal-oriented, and sometimes it seems like I don't care about people because I'm so focused on getting to the next step. Business. Hey, I avoid com confrontation, but then when I do have confrontation, I have a communication process that sort of comes off as a sergeant in the Marine Corps. And that doesn't work, especially in today's workforce. It probably didn't work that well in the previous generation's workforce. There's nothing surprising here, but I'm going to give you the plan to work on the weaknesses on body flexibility and balance. This year, I'm taking yoga. My goal is to take 150 yoga classes over the year. I'm also doing Pilates and stretching. I do little things like put my shoes on by sitting on the ground and different things, and my flexibility and balance is improving. On the temper state, I am doing the little exercise I've given you where, hey, try not to lose my temper. I'm trying to focus on getting into a positive state before I go home. These are things that work. With being, we are focused on, hey, helping child freedom, taking time out of our schedule, focusing on that. I've also volunteered at church and in a church group that gets me around normal people that aren't business owners. With the business, the biggest thing I'm working on is learning the never split the difference communication style. So a great way of communicating really in all four areas of your life. But remember this, our weaknesses tend to be the stuff we like the least and are least motivated to train. But unfortunately, when times are bad, there's a great Greek saying that says we don't rise to the level of our expectations. We always fall to the level of our training. So what I'm going to challenge you today is if you can't think of any of your weaknesses, ask your spouse, ask someone really important to you, what are some weaknesses you see? And please come up with a way of training those weaknesses. Thanks.